Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Sharpie's Pond World. Not much going on this week, although I'm about to go and do a scrape. I've had a few flashing fish this past couple of weeks. I've had a few jumpers, not jumped out of the pond though, thank God. But there's a few flashing about from the uh, Shiro Beko and the Chagoy. Uh, Benny's been jumping as well. I've seen some of the little fish been flashing and even the rod and the tench as well. So. I think it's about time I did a bit of a scrape. So I've got my microscope set up, got a slide on there, got an old bank card, um, got my net, got a bowl. Right, I don't know which one I'm going to do first. I'll probably go for the uh, the Beck, Shira Becco. And we'll give her a bit of a scrape. My daughter, she says she's going to come and give me an hand. So I'll get everything set up, ready to go. So fingers crossed it's nothing major. Right, so we've got the fish. We need to get the water out. We do need a bigger bowl, no. I'm a pro at this. It's a bit more water out. Please, don't you? Try and see if you can get you guys to have a look as well. So, right, these are flukes. I can already see one fluke. All right, so if you, listen, black. when you look down there, you'll see this little wig, it's like a little wiggly worm. Ew. It's definitely flukes. Can you see that little wiggly thing? It's like it's shaking its tail. No, I can't even see it. Like you have to close one eye and then look down in the other eye. Oh yeah. You see a little wiggly thing? Yeah. So that's that's called a fluke. Yeah? Yeah. And so just at the minute there's only one fluke, so I'm just gonna see if I can see any more. Yeah, there's more than one. You won't be able to see them without looking down in the microscope. There is another one, there's actually a few. There's a few more in this corner. See that light in the bottom corner? Try and tilt it towards the light so you can get a better view. Can you see that? Right guys, so it's obviously definitely flukes. So I've got my fluke P from Kisuri. Look at that, this ain't jocking cheap, is it? I've got enough to do, um, it should only take one dose, but obviously it says to check after so many days in case it does need a second dose. So I've, I have got enough to do two doses just in case, but fingers crossed it will just take the one. And at least I've got some more if it does if it does uh, reappear. The only problem with this time of year guys, I've seen quite a few of you guys on YouTube all having issues with flukes at the minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give the pond a bit of a... Uh, Try and net out some blanket weed and stuff like that that's accumulated on the bottom. Um, I still haven't done my blanket weed answer treatment, so now I'm going to do the fluke treatment because that's more important. I'm going to do that first, and maybe next weekend, once I've done a retest, rescrape, I can get my blanket weed treatment in. 
So yeah, I'm gonna get as much um, algae out as I possibly can. Might just clean the pumps. Obviously I've got to switch my UV off for about three days. So get some of this stuff out that's floating around from the plants where the fish have been nibbling at them. My bowl's still floating around in the water. Don't worry, Bex is out of there. She's swimming fine. So I think because the amount of flukes that one add on, I'm just gonna do obviously a treatment to the pond anyway. I was gonna just have a look at a few other fish, but I ain't gonna do that now. because She had quite a few flukes on her, so I reckon I'm just gonna put the dose in. There's quite a few of them been flashing, so I think they're gonna need it. They've been off the food slightly. Not been eating as much as they normally do. This just needs netting out now from earlier on. What's up, bud? What's up? So yeah. Let's get some weed out. Also, I'm just gonna do my Nexus clean as well. Get that done first. Before we uh, dose the pond. So it's another week of going without putting my blanket weed answer in, but like I said, this fluke treatment is more important. So I did it Wednesday, today's Sunday. Look at that. Starting to build up now, isn't it? More frequently. Right. Tell you what, I love this plant. This is the one I had last year. It was just over there. And eventually, once that goes, it's going to go into this corner because that will cover that up really well where the pipes are. I just love the flowers on them. Absolutely beautiful. I think this autumn I might just cut it down a little bit, but this can probably burst its basket at some point. It's one of my favourite plants. I haven't sorted out the pipe in there as well, by the way. I'm just going to keep it as it is for now. I'm not bothered. It's doing its job. I'll probably do the watering a little bit. Um, we do be cleaning that actually as well while that's boiling away. Right, guys, just so you know, the microscope I'm using is nothing special, it's nothing mega expensive. It's just called, it's just from a mate called Traveller. It does the job. All I recommend for those at Sapro Microscope, just get what you can afford. It doesn't have to be anything special at all. You only need it to do the certain times of magnification to find the, the right uh, parasites. So as long as you've got the 400 times, the 100 times, 40 times. 40 times is for the flukes, by the way, which we just used. Um, make sure, obviously, you've got your cover slips and your slides. Um, Mine, you just plug into the electricity, so it's got the light behind it, which helps. Um, just get what you can afford, guys, honestly. It doesn't have to be mega, mega expensive at all. I've had this a few years now. I can't remember how much it even cost me, to be fair, but I know I didn't spend a fortune. So just in case people are asking in the comments, that is just what I use. So you'll see from this first photo, so this is a body fluke. So these are easy to notice as they thrash around quite aggressively when you see them on the microscope. And body flukes, they can be distinguished from the gill flukes by the, they have larger hooks and they oft, you can often see a visible embryo moving around inside them. And also they carry the live young where the gill flukes, they carry the eggs. When you use the microscope, you will need the 40 times objective to notice a fluke. So this next photo is white spot, which you will need a hundred times objective on the microscope to notice. A lot of people get confused saying they won't need a microscope to see it, which is not strictly true because only a, a proportion of the white spot life cycle which can be seen from the naked eye. So you will need a microscope to notice it, but just don't get confused with a spawning rash, which of course a lot of males can carry um, on their head sort of near, near the top of the eyes and the, the top of the nose so don't get confused with that. This next photo is of the Chilo Delanella, I think you pronounce it, which you normally find at around 10 degrees Celsius. You will need um, a quite a big mag magnification on this on your microscope, it needs to be 400 times. So this next one is Costia. Now these are tail-like structures 
which causes more erratic movement and they often appear in quite large numbers within the mucus sample. So Costi is usually noticed under 400 times objective and a good dose of PP for, for treatment and they move around with like a propeller type movement. So the gill fluke which is quite similar to the body fluke these don't carry no live young so these actually lay eggs and the hooks are a bit less smaller than they are on the body fluke and of course most of the time you are going to find them around the gill area and again a 40 times magnification to spot the gill fluke so this next one is the trichodina which is one of the easiest parasites to recognize under the microscope you need a hundred times magnification you normally find trichodinas with poor filter hygiene and a lot of debris that can get stuck in your pipe work so if you notice any trichodinas in your in your pond or on your fish then it's probably down to your filter maintenance more than anything you won't need a microscope to notice anchor worm they're going to be quite visible hanging on the end of your fish and it, they're easily removable by getting some tweezers and basically just plucking them out simple for anchor worm Right, I've murkered up all the pond there. I've got rid of one of my lily baskets that was in this corner. There was no lily growing out of it, the fish ripped that up last year. Uh, the other one I had is just on the plant shelf there, so just behind this big bush here so the fish can't get to it. So I've tucked that out. I can't remember nowhere I've done it now, I've just chucked it in the garden somewhere. So it's just more stuff the fish can obviously scrape themselves on and bang on and catch themselves, so it gives them a bit more room. Um, the filter is still bubbling away, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change some of these air stones. You can see the bubble's not coming out that one fast enough now. I think mainly some of them, the pipes are split. I noticed that last year. I did seal one of them up, but I've got some new pipe in now, so I can get all that replaced. Right, I'll just give them their dinner first. So I'll let them eat that for a little bit, and then we'll put the dosage in for the flu treatment. Um, apparently as well you've got to put it over your pond over the course of an hour so we'll get the watering can filled up soon once they've finished eating we'll net out what they've not ate we've managed to clear out a lot of the weed in the pond I still not managed to do my air stones yet time's running out now um, and then we'll get the dosage in nice I can see the numbers. I'm going to give it a shake. So it's three. <sighs> Only a few more. Nearly went over the top. Right, let's go and switch the UV off. I'll switch back on to Wednesday night. Uh, so UV is off. It's gonna be off for three days, so I'm hoping we don't get any sun now for three days. It can be dull as anything. do that every 15 minutes because I do it over the course of an hour so we'll do four drops every 15 minutes so fingers crossed we just need that one dose so obviously I've got to keep the UV off now for three days so next weekend we'll do another scrape just to see um, if we find any more flukes obviously if we do then we have to do another dose unfortunately but I brought a big enough bottle to do that anyway so Definitely made a lot of foam in there now. We'll keep an eye on them. And see if it cuts down the jump in and it livens, up, livens them up a bit more. And uh, stops the flashing, so we'll see how we go. Let's give this a rinse out now. Oh, you're going. You nearly went, didn't you? You're on the piss. Let's give him a little treat before bed. Before we shut them up for the night. 
give them some uh, some dried shrimp. They love dried shrimp. Absolutely stinks, don't it? There we go. There we go. Watch the blue off and the rod. You go mad for it. Right, what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put the lights on because I want to come out and check them during the course of the evening. I just want to get medicated the pond, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on the fish. I don't think my camera one comes on yet. They're not dark enough for that one yet. Love these cameras because when it's dark, you've got motion detection. So if a human comes along, it lights up. Right, so we'll come out and just keep an eye on the fish during the course of the evening. That's what I'll do. I may as well say bye now. It's only a short one, guys. Like I said, not a lot to do this weekend. I was at a wedding yesterday, so I felt a bit worse for <laughs> this morning. Um, so, if you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed already, I recommend you subscribe. Helps us out as a channel. And if you do, hit your bell to get notifications for every time we post a video. Check some more playlists out, guys, as well. Obviously, for those that are interested in Nexus, I've got a full Nexus playlist. I've got a play playlist of how I built the filter shed. And I've got a playlist when we're doing the tiling on the bond. So, comment down below as well um, on the video. Tell me what you think. And we'll see you next week for another video. Cheers, guys. Bye.